Hi VC, it's Aaron, meet the Alamere. Today I'm entering a contest for Base to Base with Lisa and Glenn. And now Lisa and Glenn are Lisa Tedesco and Glenn Kellaway, two of my favorite people in the VC. They're both really cool, great channels. Um, I love watching both of theirs and um, they're both kind of friends of mine. And I really, you know, I, I just love their, their group channel together, Base to Base with Lisa and Glenn. And um, everyone go sub to that if you can. They're I know they're trying to get to 100 subs. I don't know if they're there yet because they want to do something with the, I don't know, something to get to, you have, you have to have 100 subs to do some something or other. I don't know what it is. Um, but everyone go try to sub them out. And today I'm entering their contest. They have a four part contest going on. I'm a little late to this. I've been trying to do this contest for about a month, but I had to actually watch a bunch of stuff and then I was trying to come out find a fresh perspective on this and it was kind of hard for me because I'm not a bass player or a guitar player so I don't know the nuances and um, so what I did you know of course I'm doing this on Jack Bruce Jack Bruce uh, one of my favorite musicians of all time from one of my favorite um, classic rock whatever you call them bands and of course from Cream and Cream is actually the only Thing I know Jack Bruce from and I know cream very well I've got you know all of these cream records this is my favorite the Israeli gears amazing of course tales of brave Ulysses and uh, strange brew and sunshine of your love and sunshine of your love has one of the best bass lines in the history of music I love it and there's you know wheels of fire um, cream goodbye best of cream some heavy cream and then um, Cream Live Volume 1 and 2. So I've got a lot of Cream. I've actually listened to Cream since the late 70s, early 80s when I started listening to them. So I know Jack Bruce is uh, singing and bass playing fairly well. And um, so what I did is I went and watched some back some Jack Bruce videos. I went and watched uh, one was called Amazing Bass Solo. And I watched one called um, Buddy Guy 1969 with Jack Bruce and Buddy Miles. That was amazing. They had, uh, you know, Buddy Miles on the drums, um, Buddy Guy on the guitar and vocals, and Jack Bruce playing bass. And then Jack Bruce and Gary Moore, um, best solos videos. I watched all those, and when I was watching these videos, I noticed something I wasn't expecting. And, you know, bass has, there's a few different types of bass styles. There's the, um, the you know, you can use a pick. It's when you're playing bass, and that's one style. Another type is the slapping bass, which gives it that funky sound. And then there's, um, most people use four fingers when they're playing the bass. But I noticed Jack Bruce plays with two fingers. And he also plays on a fretless bass, which was pretty cool. I didn't realize that. At least the ones I saw, he was always using a fretless bass. But when I noticed the two-fingered style, I don't notice that very often. But it reminded me of my favorite bass player, who is Cliff Burton from Metallica. And Cliff Burton plays a two-finger style on the bass which um, I'm not an expert, I'm not a bass player, but I've heard, I've watched a couple of videos and they've said that that's actually harder to do than the four finger. And there's not a lot of people that do it really. I mean, there's some, I'm sure there might be a lot, but I don't know. But I noticed that then when I was watching the videos again, I rewatched them after I noticed that and I noticed there was a lot of similarities in the sound of their bass playing. And that was really, really cool for me because Cliff Burton was the most, maybe the most influential bass player in heavy metal in the later era heavy metal at least because he started in the 80s and he um he was a really great bass player played two st and um, he used a lot of distortion so it reminded me of you know jack bruce's bass style mixed with maybe Jimi hendrix guitar style mix those together and you get cliff burton's bass style and um a lot of the bass solos i noticed that that um jack bruce was playing sounded very similar to some of the bass solos Cliff Burton plays. Like when you watch his solos, there's a lot of similar similarities in the sound of uh, just the style that they're playing. Um, Cliff Burton was rooted in music theory and, um, you know, he liked uh, classical stuff like that. And um, so I, I just noticed that they sounded very familiar. He was actually a big influence on my favorite bass player, Cliff Burton, although Cliff Burton doesn't name him as an influence, the style was very similar. And I thought that was really cool. So, you know, I'm, I don't know a lot about bass, so that's what I'm gonna put here. And so I'm gonna go listen to some Disraeli Gears and Sunshine, I mean, Strange Brew, Sunshine of Your Love, 
the bass play, I'm, I'm gonna pay extra special attention to the bass because it's so good. And then I'm gonna listen to some anesthesia, pulling teeth. Of course, it starts off bass solo, take one from this album. It's an amazing bass solo that's in the, on this. And it, if you listen to it, you can hear a little of the Jack Bruce influence and it's really cool. So I'm gonna listen to those today, give them a spin. Everybody sub to bass to bass with Lisa and Glenn. Great channel, they, they do all these long videos where they break down all this bass stuff, really cool stuff. And um, everybody have a great day, thank you.